Next guests are two-fifths of the Broken Lizard comedy troupe with 30 years of friendship under their super trooping belt. Season three of their show, Tacoma FD, premieres Thursday night, 10 o'clock on True TV. Please welcome Steve Lemmy and Kevin Heffernan. All dressed up and everything. I know, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't wear ties anymore, man. <laughs> well, you look How's it good. look? Okay. You look good. You look great. <laughs> you are dressed almost identically to Guillermo, as a matter of oh, fact. Really? Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> me and you. So Give you me guys, a stool. Over Thirty there. years. You've known each other as long as Cookie and Magic have been married. I, I know. know. It's I actually know. our anniversary tonight. Oh, it is. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Little Arby's afterwards, perhaps? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. I love the roast beef sandwich. So. <laughs> How'd you guys meet? How was it? Where did it happen? Uh, it was very similar to Cookie and Magic, actually. That's was right. it? I was wearing very tight <laughs> shorts. <laughs> very tight shorts. <laughs> we, uh, we went to Colgate University together, went to college together. And um, it's in upstate New York for those. Any Colgate people out there? No, no. no just nothing. maybe. <laughs> no, whatever. Maybe they brushed their teeth with it, but okay. probably not anything other than that. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we went to college together, and it didn't start out very well. Uh, I was in a fraternity, and we used to have parties in the wintertime, and people would come to the party at the fraternity house, and they would take their winter coats off, and they'd throw them on a pile in the living room floor. And so um, one night, we were having a party, and I was ready to leave. I went to get my coat out of the pile, and it was missing. It was gone. The whole the coat, my coat was gone. Somebody stole it. And I was pissed off because it's cold up there in upstate New York. Didn't have a coat. And so a couple weeks later, we had another party. And I went to the pile, and there's my coat sitting there. I found it. I picked it up. I reached in the pocket. And the idiot who stole my coat had left his college ID in the coat pocket. And I looked at it, and it said, Stephen Carlos Lemmy. <laughs> and so I went looking for the guy. And I, uh, <laughs> I found him on the dance floor, uh -huh. dancing. <laughs> and uh, I said, hey, buddy, you stole my coat. And he said, no, I didn't. And I said, I found your ID in it. And he said, oh, my god. The guy who stole my coat must have been the same guy who stole my ID. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It's touche. Yeah, Diabolical. Touché. It was. Uh, you know, uh, he liked that. I could tell he liked that. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have to understand this from my perspective, though, OK? Yeah, what? Because okay. It, was, it was, you know, at Colgate, it, got, it was freezing all the time. I was a freshman. I was down the hill at this fraternity party. A blizzard started. I went and I, I looked at this pile of coats and I started sifting through them. You know, this is like you're at the, the shopping warehouse. I've got a pile of coats here. And I came across this one overcoat that wrapped around me twice. <laughs> and the, the best part was I reached into the pocket and there was a jumbo Snickers bar. <laughs> and I was like, this, this is the winner. This is the winner right here. I walked home up this hill, cardiac hill. I ate my jumbo Snickers bar. <laughs> Of course, I forgot where I had gotten the coat the next day, and I came, I came back a couple weeks later and met Kevin, and he hated me. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. well, yeah, sure. And then we went to Arby's. Yeah, and you went to Arby's, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it, but it seems unwise to pick the coat of the biggest guy at the party. I mean, it seems like that just is just inherently a bad decision. That you, you mean because he was going to kick my ass? It, yes, presumably. That type, except, like I said, it wrapped around me twice. <laughs> Yeah. Like, uh, it, was, uh, it was the warmest thing I had ever tried on in my life. <laughs> so you're saying comfort was top priority for you. It was a blizzard out there, and the hill at Colgate was called Cardiac Hill. So I had to, I had to insulate myself. I see. All right, all right, very good. Now, you guys are doing this show. Uh, I still live in Seattle. In fact, I lived in Tacoma for a short time. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Um, up in Tacoma, your um, you, Tacoma FD. Why did you pick Tacoma for the side of the, uh, the show? Well, we... You know, we a few years back we made a movie called Super Troopers. Right. Yes. And uh, everybody loves. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And you know, the premise of the movie was about cops who are in a remote area mm -hmm. and have time on their hands so they can screw around. You know. So we were making this firefighter show. We were trying to think of what the equivalent of that was. And to us, it was let's set it in the rainiest city in America. Mm -hmm. And then the firefighters would have time to screw around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? it makes sense. Which makes sense. But the Tacoma Fire Department. They were pissed off about it. Oh, they were really? Yeah, the real guys were pissed off about it. Yeah. Were they mad once they saw the show, or were they mad? They liked it, but I, I, at the time, they had heard about it, and we were doing a stand-up show in Seattle, and we're sitting backstage, and the owner of the club came out and said, came back to us and said, hey, there's a bunch of Tacoma firefighters here, and they want to talk to you, and it's not like a good thing, you know? <laughs> and so we're like, oh, man. So we went out after the show, and they said to us, you know, hey, 
we work really hard here in Tacoma. We're the hardest working fire department, and we don't appreciate you guys, you know, presenting us that way. And we said, okay, well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll do a good job and we'll represent you well. And then the guy said, by the way, and he pulled out a business card, and he said, I also do technical consulting for fi film and TV. So, <laughs> uh, and by okay, the thanks, way, buddy. and while we're on the by the ways, how hard could they be working if they decided to show up in force at a comedy, a comedy club show? In That's the right, I know. Place? So, um, so they like it now. You're they like okay. it. We're friends you... with them. They send us uh, all kinds. Of, they send us an axe. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did. Yeah, a, a bejazzled axe. Well, you, that wasn't a threat. That was a gift. No. It was a gift. Okay. It was a gift. Yeah. Apparently, you can mail an axe these days. So. They, they, but firefighters do. In my experience, I've been to some fire stations. Have a lot of free time. They definitely do. And it's not just fires that they're they're dealing with. They have to kind of do like whatever weird calls come in. They have to take care of them. Oh yeah. No, I mean I think you know, like 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 firefighters are kind of a catch-all. Yeah. For, for everything. Like, of course, they fight fires and, you know, car accidents. They're, they're there. But they also have to deal with whatever other non-criminal call uh, that comes across. For instance, like, when we were interviewing firefighters for our show and asking them about stories, the one common thing was how many uh, guys they have to rescue who have gotten their penises stuck in things. <laughs> This happens a lot? It happens a lot, and especially... Apparently all the time. Especially on full moons. On full moons. <laughs> what? Full moon. Penis stuck in stuff. Is that true on full moons? This happens more often? Apparently. That's what they said to us. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And, we, and we ask firefighters, we're like, is the, is the penis thing true? They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and then like, they go through a laundry list. They go through... They go, wedding ring. People get stuck in the wedding ring. What? Yeah. How yeah. romantic. A soda bottle. You know, they just kind of go through this whole list of all the crazy stuff. <laughs> Anything you can put your penis into, they have, they have pulled a man out of that thing. Wow. dollars at work. Yeah. Wow. They, he, literally, you know, I always knew they were heroes. I did not know the extent to... <laughs> yeah. The, uh, to their heroism, yes. Oh, absolutely. Anything, like... And it's also, they take things out of people. So oh. I, I <laughs> it's the circle of life, That's in a right. way. That's right. Well, well, I'm sure they're honored to have you representing them. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming. The show is called Tacoma FD. Season 3 premieres on Thursday at uh, 10 o'clock on True TV. Steve and Kevin, everybody. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be back with the Marias. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.